what's going on welcome back to the channel tampa bay bucks fans today is your day we are on episode 19 of our team mock draft series so it's time to raise the flags it's time to fire the cannons it's time to select the 2023 rookie draft class for your tampa bay buccaneers let's not waste any time let's jump right in and get this mock draft started we're going to select the tampa bay buccaneers we want all seven rounds turbo is a little too fast and we're going to keep everything else at default so our first pick is at number 19. um obviously there this is a quarterback centric draft cj stroud bryce young will levis anthony richardson Hendon Hooker, to name a few, I feel like four of those five are going to go somewhere in that top 10. Um, Tampa Bay might be in the market for a quarterback. Uh, Sign Baker Mayfield, but is he quarterback of the future? Kyle Trask is behind him. He was drafted a few years ago. I don't know if he's going to take over the reins there. Uh, moving up from 19 to somewhere in that top 10, uh, that's going to be pretty difficult, and we're probably going to have to mortgage our future to do that. Uh, the earliest we can get to is probably number three. Uh, Cardinals are not selecting a quarterback, so that could be an option, but that's a lot of draft capital. I believe the Colts are going quarterback, so the next possible option would be five with the Seattle Seahawks. Again, going from 19 to five is a major jump. We'd have to include 19, likely a first round from 2024 and 2025. Is that something that we want to do for this Tampa Bay Buccaneers team? I don't think so. Uh, so unless a quarterback falls to us at 19, we may look to acquire a quarterback later on in this draft. But with nine total picks, let's start the draft. Let's get to pick 19 and see what we have available. Okay, quarterback is on our list. But as we can see, all of those guys are going. Uh, tight end, offensive line, defensive line and safety so let's get rid of this let's see what our top available are jackson smith and jigma will be a, a great value pick here but we have mike evans we have chris godwin don't think we need a wide receiver there kalijah can see really really solid pick however he is not a nose tackle um we may be able to use him on the outside but we Drafted Logan Hall recently. We have Greg Gaines in the fold. Kalijah Kansi wouldn't be um, a pick that I would go with there. Uh, Brian Branch, really, really solid option here at 19. Uh, we could slide him into that free safety role next to Antoine Winfield. I think that would be a really, really solid pick. Uh, we were able to bring back Jamil Dean. We lost Sean Murphy Bunting. Uh, so maybe Deontay Banks from Maryland is a good option. Um, Looking at the offensive line, Darnell Wright is here. Now, it may be a little bit early to take him here at 19 based on his ranking average draft position, but he's ranked 20th. We're at pick 19. Uh, we have to solidify uh, that right tackle position. Uh, Donovan Smith has moved on. Uh, Tristan Wirfs has moved from the right to the left side. Um, and now we need to solidify that right tackle position. We need to make sure that the offense um, is running smoothly now one of the thoughts that I had here is also going Bijan Robinson maybe getting that tackle with our pick in the second round pick 50 um, going with that offensive tackle um, we have Rashad White here uh, but one thing that can help a, a young quarterback or a mid-tier quarterback is a really really good running game so B. John Robinson at 19 could be the selection here. Um, it wouldn't surprise me if the Bucks did decide to do that. Uh, but I'm going to fortify that offensive line. Uh, and I'm going to go Darnell Wright here at 19. Got to be able to, to open up those running lanes for our backs. We got to be able to protect our quarterback. Uh, so we can take a look at running back now. So he's off the board. So is Jameer Gibbs. Um, so we can go back to take a look at some best available. Uh, we need a tight end. Uh, Kate Otten's in the building, but Sam Laporte is here. Really, really solid tight end that we can go get. 
Um, if we want to look at quarterback, our next pick is at 82. It's likely Hendon Hooker could be gone. Now, do you want to waste a second round draft pick uh, on Hendon Hooker knowing that this is going to be a red shirt year for him as he's still recovering from uh, that uh, torn ACL? It is possible. Let's see what, what some trades are. So Texans want to move up. We would drop back to 65. Cardinal 66. Patriots 76. Let's see if we can pick up some more picks. So they want 50. They won't give me 65 and 73. But we have a huge drop off after 82. So let's see if they'll give me 104. So that's likely to be accepted. So we can drop back from 50, pick up 65, still keep 82, and then we have 104 in the fold. So let's see if we can do that. That trade is accepted. So now we move back to 65, which is pick two in the third round. And now I feel like this is a great spot for us to draft Hendon Hooker. Um, Baker Mayfield is likely not going to be our quarterback of the future. If Kyle Trask was the option, I feel like he would have moved into that starting quarterback role. Um, and we would be looking to draft a replacement maybe later, maybe sign a veteran to back him up and kind of help him along the way. Maybe a guy like Matt Ryan. Um, but it doesn't look like Kyle Trask is going to take those reins either. Uh, trading back, getting Hendon Hooker in the, the top of the third round, knowing this is going to be a red shirt year. Uh, you have an option to move forward with a, a really, really good quarterback. Um, he would be one of those guys who would be in that top five quarterback conversation. Maybe he would be battling with Will Levis or uh, Anthony Richardson for that you know, fourth or third QB spot. Um, so trading back, getting those extra picks um, and still getting your quarterback and not getting him in the second round, acquiring an extra pick and getting him in the third round. I think that's great value. And now we're back on the clock at 82. Here, if we want to add more, another corner for depth, I think Garrett Williams is a solid option. Um, I think here though, at 82, I love the the pick of Nick Herbig. Um, he is going to be a 4-3 outside linebacker for this defense. Um, so he's going to spell Shaquille Barrett, Joe, Joe Tryon, Shoyinka. Um, I think his motor as a pass rusher is off the charts. So I think you can get Nick Herbig here and add to your pass rush. Again, maybe you think about Anthony Johnson Jr. safety, um, somebody to come in to fill that, that free safety role. Um, but again, picking up that pick at 104, um, I feel like some guys will be there. I think here at 82, the selection of Nick Herbig is just really, really good value. And in, in, a, in a division that will have Desmond Ritter, <laughs> Derek Carr, and whoever the Panthers draft getting after the quarterback is, is going to be really, really paramount. Now, again, Anthony Johnson Jr. is still here. Maybe we can take a gamble and try to get him at 153. Uh, Trevius Hodges Tomlinson is here. I think this is a really, really solid pick, uh, a, a corner who we can, you know, play in the slot. Oh, that can help us out a lot. Um, I think, again, offensive line, you can definitely look at uh, guard Chandler Zavala here at 104. Um, that right side of our offensive line is in desperate need of help. Uh, Tristan Wirfs, Nick Everett, Ryan Jensen. But then that right side has John Mulshan and then Brandon Walton. Maybe Luke Godeke, uh can slide over. Uh, he was our second round pick in 2022. Uh, so maybe he can slide over. 
um, to that right guard position. Uh, maybe he beats out Nick Everett for that left guard position. Um, either way, Nick Everett and John Mulchon, I don't think our options are our starting options. Um, I think we need to find uh, competition. We need to find depth. Uh, this is tough. This is really tough because there's a lot of good names here. Uh, what other interior offensive line is here? We've already taken one player that's a red shirt year. Andrew Voorhees will be another red shirt. Really, really solid option at guard. Unfortunate ACL tear at the combine. Maybe we can get Jackson Kirkland later. Mm. Ooh. There's a lot of depth in this draft as well. So we're on, on the board at 104. Give me the corner because we want to be able to continue to play defense. Uh, Hodges Thomas in, in, in the slot is, is a really good pick here at 104. So give me corner. Then we'll see what's happening at 153. And then we got a bunch of picks, you know, together. After 153, we have 175, 179, and 181. And Anthony Johnson Jr. is still on the board at 153. We didn't reach to go get him. He's still here waiting for us. And we're going to take Anthony Johnson Jr. right here at 153 to take uh, fill that role in our, in our free safety position. Great value there. Ooh. Let me see what the tight end is looking like. Josh Wiley, that's a good option. Also, Will Mallory. I like Corey Trice, though. But we already got our corner. And Hodges Tomlinson. Let's take a look at that interior offensive line. And my guy is here, so let's get him, Jackson Kirkland. So we got a tackle. Now we got our guard. If I wanted to still get him, I could. Um, back up behind Rashad White. We have Chase Edmonds. Um, he didn't do well in Miami. He did okay in Arizona, then went to Miami, didn't really do well. You know, he got bounced there. Um, I think you can go get a guy like Keaton Mitchell from East Carolina. I think he can come in and battle with Keyshawn Vaughn and Patrick Laird. Um, I think Keaton Mitchell can can be our third running back. And by midseason, towards the end of the season, he can end up being our second running back. So we're going to go Keaton Mitchell there. And for the heck of it, we love paint, playing defense. Let's get Corey Trice, six foot three, two hundred six corner, running a four four seven at pick one eighty one. It's really good value. Uh, we did not address tight end. Uh, we can go Cameron Latou from Alabama. Uh, I'm also a big fan of Brenton Strange. Maybe one of those guys are still on the board at 252. Let me take a look. I think all of our kickers should be here too. Yeah, so let me get let me get my tight end. I'm gonna go Brenton Strange from Penn State here at 196. And then I am gonna end with a kicker. Uh, they signed uh, Chase McLaughlin in free agency. I am not a fan of Chase McLaughlin at all. So I'm going to go and get Mr. Chad Ryan kicking 60 yarders at his pro day with ease. And we are going to take a look at this draft for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Um, so pick one, 
our first round pick, pick number 19, we take tackle Darnell Wright from Tennessee. Um, we trade our second round pick, pick 50, to the Houston Texans. In exchange, we receive uh, pick 65 in the third round and pick 104 in the fourth round. We get an A minus for that trade. And at uh, pick 65, uh, we get quarterback Hendon Hooker from Tennessee. So we get two Tennessee guys, Darnell Wright, Hendon Hooker, back to back. Uh, we get A's for A minuses for all three of those transactions. Uh, round three, pick 82, we get edge rusher Nick Herbig from Wisconsin. Uh, with the pick, our fourth round pick that we got in that trade, we get an A for selecting Trevis, uh, Trevius Hodges Tomlinson, cornerback from TCU. Round five, pick 153, we get safety Anthony Johnson Jr. from Iowa State. Also in round five, pick 175, we get guard Jackson Kirkland from Washington. Four picks later at 179, we get running back Keaton Mitchell from East Carolina. Uh, two picks later at 181, we get cornerback Corey Trice from Purdue. Uh, uh, 15 picks later at 196, we get tight end Britton Strange. And with our last pick, round seven, pick 252, we get kicker Chad Ryland from Maryland. Bucks fans, tap in with me in the comments section. Let me know how you like this draft. Let me know if you approve of the trade to move back from our second round pick um, and select Hendon Hooker in the third round with an eye on him being our QB of the future uh, going forward. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like, what you would do different. Um, I love all of your opinions in the comment section. If you are new to Mo's Nose, welcome. So glad to have you. Thank you for your time and attention today. Just do me a few favors before you head on out. One, smash that like button. Two, become a part of the Mo's Nose fam. If you like this video, if you like NFL, content if you like going over the draft the off season and all types of content that are becoming once the season starts consider a subscription here at mo's nose hit that subscribe button then take another two seconds and hit that bell icon so that you get notified every time new content drops right here at mo's nose again love and appreciate you and i will catch you guys in the next episode peace